What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron. These are my toys. Uh, really cool video if you guys like Transformers or uh, action figures, anything like that. Um, I love these. I grew up on them as a kid. I remember, you know, Beast Wars and Predacons and stuff. Basically the stuff that's going to be coming out in a new movie. Um, there's Megatron as a dragon. There's, there's dinosaurs. There's jets in here. Cars. They're super cool. Um, this box right here was actually two boxes. I consolidated it into one. Um, I got this for extremely cheap. This is 26 pounds of Transformers. Every one of these, I think except for one, is complete. I'm not 100% sure. I just, I laid them out on the table and I, and I noticed one was missing part of the wing and I think it's, I think it's Thundercracker. I think it's him. Um, anyways, but there is a massive bag full of, um, massive bag full of uh, extraction manuals, uh, projectiles, the little activation, little crystals. So the guy that I got this from, he said that he got it from his coworker. He actually said he pulled a couple out. He said he kept a couple, I don't know. He says he has a sealed like Galvatron from like 2005 and people are asking like $600 for it. But some of these in here, there's some massive ones. I'm talking like on the bottom of here, there's a huge one. We're gonna go through this box today. So overall, $40 for all of these Transformers. We're just gonna jump right into them. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, we're just gonna start off with uh, Megatron. So check this out. He's a dragon. Um, I don't actually actually know how he. I haven't transformed any of them. Um, I just kind of whatever they came out of the box as. Um, so like some of these might may not stand because I don't know how they're supposed to be posed. But I will obviously go through the instructions and everything. This is like a really really cool metallic chrome. Um, I don't know how these. Oh, okay, so it's you, you put his wings out like that, so he's pretty sick. This is Megatron, um, super sick. He's got the little uh, Decepticon symbol there. There's like a gyrosphere, a gyroscope in there, but really cool. Um, I love this. It's like translucent orange and like metallic, like purple and orange and red. So uh, we're going to kind of just set him off to the side for now. I'll set him up after for the, uh, the nice glam shot. Um, I looked up a couple of these. So this is Scorch. I think he only goes for like 40 or 50 bucks, but check this out. Now, I don't know what he transforms from or into, um and his tail fell off but there's that and then his tail just pops on which is really weird um i think i think this backside comes out his legs extend and then this backside comes out so really cool i think it's like a hydra it's like it looks more like a megazord honestly super sick i love the orange with the purple and the and the yellow and stuff like that i just i think it's a really good color combination for like a fierce creature um, let's get into another one that some people might know. He looks like a tank. I'm pretty sure he's some sort of tank. This is Shockwave. You can tell by the one eye. And I think he actually... So he actually lights up. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think he lights up. So the sunlight goes through this clear piece on the top. If you guys can see, there's a clear piece on the top. It looks like his eye is glowing, but it's actually not. It's actually, if you cover it, see? If you cover the lens right there, it like looks darker. So it, instead of using batteries... Well, actually, this takes batteries. Um, this this right here takes batteries right here, but the batteries are obviously dead. So um, super cool. Uh, Shockwave is always a, also a favorite for a Decepticon lover. So um, really cool figure here. So I was trying to tell you, every single one of these that I've seen, um, that I looked up anyways, are between like 2003 to 2005. Might be a couple 2006s in here. So these are gonna be older ones. These are not gonna be like Studio Series ones. These will be way before the movies ever came out. So. Uh, let's just get into a couple of them. I don't know all the names of them, but we'll just go through them. Some of them are transformed into their vehicle forms. Other ones are transformed into their uh, robot forms. So this isn't grab. I don't know what it is. But if it doesn't have a projectile on it, you can bet it's probably in that bag. Um, so we have another couple, like this one right here uh, is a rescue helicopter. Uh, this one is uh, Autobot. And uh, I have the other rotor. It's in the bottom of the box. It fell out, but I, I do have it. It's not broken. Um, so this is really cool. It's a Autobot. It's a rescue helicopter. His head pops up. I just don't remember how any of this stuff goes, but super cool. He's got like a he's got like a little like a really cool little ratchet thing there. So, uh, so I, I looked up some of these last night. I completely forgot. This one's I don't remember the name of this one, but like I said, I have a lot of the missiles. So if it's not in here, um, it's gonna be in a bag that I put them in here to separate them. Really cool because this one's like a futuristic, like looks more like a Cybertron one. And um, it's got translucent, like clear blue wheels, like the cockpit. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, I just love this stuff. I mean, I grew up, I mean, these are obviously like, I grew up on them when they were like late 80s, maybe like probably mostly early 90s and stuff like that. Like I had the planes and I had like the cheetah and the gorilla and stuff like that. I had all the Beast Wars ones and stuff. And um, I had some of these, these two, but 
check this out. So he's cool. Now this doesn't flip down in the back. I always thought that was kind of weird. So he's like a table. I mean, he literally, this doesn't flip down in the, at all in the back and these flip out. Um, and I, this is the one that I'm missing the wing. I'm going to actually ask and see it's actually, this part comes off. So this whole wing comes off. I don't know why this is missing. So maybe it broke. Um, but I really, really, this is a F-15 Eagle, kind of like Starscream. He's one of the seekers. And I really wish they had that other part of that wing because I really do like the planes uh, a lot. So, um, don't know all the names of these. I looked them up last night and I've already forgotten. So, um, a lot of them come with their little, uh, um, with the Taskmasters or the, the, the little, the pilots. Um, like the heads sometimes turn into the little figures that go into like the cockpits and stuff. Um, so this one's cool. This one's, uh, I think, um, who is this one? The police car. I looked it up last night and I swear I, I, I forgot already. But anyways, this one's super cool. It's got the red and blue lights on the top of it. And like the head is actually, the head actually has the tailpipes on it. So really cool. Some of them are tiny. Like this one right here is like a Harley Davidson. It's a Decepticon. It's a motorcycle. That was kind of sick. It looks like uh, Captain America's bike. Um, here's a Decepticon. This one's so, so cool. Now I think some of these could be combiners. This one takes batteries. I, oh, shoot. Well, I got to remember to get that after. So the top ones don't shoot. The bottom ones do. There's four little pins in the bottom. I got to remember to get that. This is a really cool dump truck. It's, it's it's massive Decepticon logo. And it's weird. The head popped in in a weird way, but don't know who these are. There's so many different names. Like I always thought this one was Grapple. He's a big like crane. Um, he's a Decepticon though. So this is a big arm like that is attached like this doesn't come off this like this and it you put the key and the activator thing in here and then uh, the, it, everything lights up and stuff so super cool I love this I like uh, Decepticons are really cool uh, like light blue color it's more like an Autobot looking one but it's it's cool for Decepticon to be you know like a lighter color and not so menacing um, this one is one of my favorites that I looked through See, these are the things I'm talking about, these little activator things. So you put it in there and it lets you shoot the guns and it lets you uh, see like the battery pack. So when you activate it and stuff like that, you can't just hit the button. You actually have to have the key in order to use the lights and sounds thing. So, um, yeah, I don't want to start shooting anything everywhere. But this is a B-24 Liberator, I think. This is like a World War II plane. Love this a lot. Uh, really sick figure. He's massive. I mean, look at the size of his feet. I mean, his feet are huge, like just big blocks. Um, I'm going to put his feet out so he can stand up. Really cool figure there. I love that one. I can't wait to transform these later. Uh, we're going to save the best ones for last. Not the best ones. Like, I have a preference. But, like, they're the big ones and they're on the bottom. Now, this one is a combiner. So, I don't really know. This one's made up of this one. One vehicle. Two, three, four. And the fifth one is in the box somewhere. Um, but this is, like, a combiner. So, I don't really know who this is. But there's a helicopter. There's a tank. There's a, there's a, there's two attack, like, Apaches or Cobras. It looks like there's a military, like, truck right here. And then there's a tank. So I have no idea who this is, but it's super cool. And uh, I don't really know which figure goes on him, but I'll figure it out later. Um, it's really neat. This is crosswise. I looked this one up last night. The The weapons are actually in here. They spring out. I just don't remember how to do it. I think I have to push the activator thing on the back uh, to pop them out. Let me just try it, because I think all the keys actually work on all of them, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me just double check if this activates the weapons. Yeah, see? Okay. Super cool. All right, that one came from him. I'm gonna have to look up all these, but yeah, check it out. This is a Bugatti Veyron, really sick. I like this. It has like a projectile in the back. It's supposed to be like fire coming out the back. I think it's like blue or orange. So, really neat. I like that one. Thought it was a uh, drift or something like that, but it's not. Uh, he wasn't a Bugatti uh, until the movies came out. This looks like a Decepticon. He is a bucket loader. I think he's like an excavator. So really cool. Yeah, it's a Decepticon. Really neat. There's a lot in here, so I'm just gonna kind of go through them as fast as I can. Don't wanna bore anybody. If anybody knows in there, put in the comments, tell me what you think the stuff is. I mean, I just use uh, eBay and Google image search and it tells me exactly what the figure is and when they come out. But um, really cool to see your knowledge of these things because I don't really know m much about them. Look at this, look at this one. It's super cool. Really sick. I don't really know if this one's a Decepticon. Really cool. See, I always think of Decepticons with like purple and yellow and like red and black and stuff like that. There's a jet fire in here too, and I think he's complete, and I love that figure. Um, what do we got here? We have a truck. It looks kind of like Iron Man actually. Um, so this one's kind of partially transformed, but this is a like a like a Optimus looking truck. I think this is Swoop. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know where the other leg is actually. I think it might be missing a leg. Honestly, I'm hoping that I can find. Or maybe it's, it's missing a foot. 
I don't really know. Anyways, but there's a pterodactyl dinosaur. Um, so there might be two. Now this one has two. This one right here, I think, is this one? This one's not it. There's one in here that has two massively long pieces, and I'll show you in a minute. Really cool. I like this one a lot. This is a Decepticon as well. This one's cool because it has wings. This might be a Starscream. This looks like a Raptor for some reason, but his wings are like clear blue, and I like that a lot. I think that's really neat. Um, I can't wait to like... Yeah, it looks like a Raptor. It really does. I, I don't know when the Raptor came out, but the, it looks like a, a YF-22. Moving on. Um, this one's kind of neat. I don't, I don't know who this is. Um, is it Wheeljack? I don't know. It looks, it, I don't even know what it is when it transforms, honestly. It looks like a Ferrari F40, but I'm not 100%. It looks kind of smaller. This is just pretty neat because they're, they're not like studio class and, and like a, um, Voyager class and, and uh, like leader class. These are just, I mean, these are all different sizes. These are really cool and because the movies weren't out yet. So like this would probably be like a studio series size. And then like this would be like a leader class or Voyager class size. So that was kind of neat. And, like I'm not super, like, I don't, I'm not a professional on Transformers. I just know what I like and I bought them. And I know some are very valuable and some others I'm just going to keep because I like, you know, the way they look or I like what they transform into. This one's kind of neat. This one looks kind of like a Monte Carlo or like a muscle car. I thought this was really cool. It's got the missile launchers on the side. Like I said, the projectiles will be in a bag in here. Um, and there's a surprise at the end that I'll show you in a minute because it's very, it's very rare that somebody, I'll just tell you right now, it's very rare that somebody gets the instructions for every single figure. Now there's a massive bag in here and there's like 50 or 60 instruction booklets along with the keys, the projectiles, the missiles and everything. So uh, even if I'm, a couple of figures are missing a couple of pieces, the rest of them are 100% complete. Now I don't want to launch this off or anything like that, but check this out. This is like a SAM, like a surface to air missile launcher. Really cool. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go like that. Really, really neat. I like these a lot. These are super sick. Like even like small ones like this. This is like a little Raptor or something. Like he's got a key right there. This is like a little activator key. So like, so like when you push it in, I think it's supposed to, I thought his head was supposed to, maybe this isn't the right key for him. So typically there's, the keys might be different because there is like, there is numbers. Oh, there you go. I had it in the wrong way. So see, you put his, that's cool. The, the keys go to, see, they have numbers in the back. This one's S48A. So look, he's got a little, like a knife that comes out and he's got like a little bear claw or symbol on there. So I thought that was kind of neat. Oh, he turns into a T-Rex. His little arms are the T-Rex's head. That's so sick. I can't wait to transform that one. He looks kind of like a chameleon or something right now. Um, we're going to keep moving on. I, like I said, our box isn't even half full or half empty yet. So however you want to look at it. I like this one. This one's kind of cool. It's like a beefy, like a, like a truck, I guess, like a Cybertron truck. I don't know. I'm just gonna stop talking. I'll let you guys enjoy. This one's a rhinoceros, I think. It's weird how this one transforms, but it's a rhino. I don't know if it's a rhinox or not. Yeah, this one's 2005 Takara Tomy Hasbro. So these are really neat. I mean, if you're just getting into like Transformers nowadays, they're very expensive. I mean, I don't know how much they were in the like the mid to early 2000s. This one, I looked up. It is not Alita One. Um, it is not Jet Fire. I'm trying to think. I don't remember his name, but it has like roller blade wheels on it. It's got like clear wheels on it. Again, this one's really cool. Um, I looked some of these up and I already forgot their names. So like I said, I went later when I actually try to put these together and transform them to and from their forms and put the projectiles and instructions with them. Uh, I'll figure it out. This one's neat. This one looks kind of like a falcon, like a ship. I don't really know what it is, but it's kind of partially transformed. Um, some of you guys will know what these are at first glance. I mean, if you're collecting Transformers from any era, I mean, or all eras, you'll know what most of these are. I just don't. Uh, this one's a really cool little tank. This one looks like it's a combiner. Yeah, it is. This one, where's that big one? Does it go on? Yep, okay, I found it. There we go. So I think this might flip out to turn into a hand. I don't know, but that clips onto his shoulder. I don't, it looks weird. There's this, does his head turn around? It doesn't. So that's how he's supposed to look, I guess, but I don't know how these are supposed to function. Maybe the tanks are supposed to be the feet and the helicopters. The helicopter is supposed to be the hand because the hand is right here and the tanks are the feet, I think. So anyways, we'll figure it out later. A lot of these probably combine. Like this one's got a clip on the top of it too. A little smaller looking one. He's another bucket loader or like a constructor bot, I think they call him. Um, but those are, that's a, this one's massive. I've never seen a weapon or a, anything on a, on a transformer that's this big. That's like, this is huge. This is like a... Um, what do they call it? The ballistic missile. This thing is ridiculous. Little obscene, but uh, 
He's actually hard to stand, honestly. That's just insane. I think I don't know if he's like a gun truck or if he's like a like part of like a space thing. He looks kind of like a like a net, like a shuttle like a launch thing, but he might might turn into a base and this might be vertical like that. It might be pretty cool and turn into like, you know, like a space shuttle thing. So I don't know. I just all I know is I like to have I like uh, I like transforming these things and uh, seeing how old they are and, you know, seeing what they're called. This one's missing. Oh no, it's not. It's right here. I don't know how these are supposed to go, but maybe these Anyway, so like this is like a ski snowmobile or ski mobile or something. They're just pretty cool. They're all different, and I like that. Like muscle cars and helicopters and like Formula One cars and uh, jets and dragons. They're just cool. Here's a boat. This is like a really cool boat. This is what it looks like opened up, I guess. Kind of cheesy. There's really not much to it, actually. Literally, just the boat closes over the figure. It's just kind of weird, but um, still cool to have a boat. It's hard to transform a boat into a robot. What do we got here? Oh, Jetfire's coming up. So this is another crane figure. I think he might be missing. No, he's got the crane. This is a small little one. Um, just trying to look for some dates for you guys. Sorry if the video is not very entertaining. I don't know much about these. I just know that I paid forty dollars for this whole box, and I can literally sell any one of these Transformers for forty bucks, and everything else is profit if I were to sell them all. Uh, I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna see what their names are. I want to see what they transform into. If they should look at like, like I'm probably gonna keep. The B-29 Liberator. I might keep the Megatron Dragon. Like, I definitely want to keep at least one or two of the big ones that are in here. You'll see them in a minute. One of them is Metroplex. The other one is Optimus Supreme. It's ridiculous. Um, we'll get there in a minute. You can probably see, if you know what Transformers, you can probably see this goes to Metroplex. Um, got another, like, small little Cyber Cybertron, like, clear. You can tell the Cybertron ones because they have, like, clear wheels and they look really futuristic and they don't belong on Earth. Like, this one, too. This looks like a weird rover vehicle. One of these was making a lot of noise earlier. I don't remember which one it was, but this one turns into like a, it's like a lunar rover or something. So you can, uh, this one right here is, uh, this one looks like a cheetah or something, but I don't think it's Cheetor. I don't know. It's got claws and the, the legs flip out. You guys are probably screaming at the thing, being like, oh, this is that one, that's this one, and whatever. But this one's really cool. He's got like, this one's got like cybernetic stuff all over it. It's got like weird, like microchip looking things on it, and the, the paws are translucent and uh, like the, they have these little orbs on them that are see-through and stuff like that and the head's clear. Really cool figures. I really do like these and the quality of them is actually, honestly, don't quote me, don't judge me on this, but I think touching these, I mean, I just got, I just got my stepson who's 15 now. He just got the Rise of the Beast Camaro Studio Series kind of. It's like the four inch one, four and a half inch one. And it's the Camaro with the roll cage on it. And it's not the cheesy, cheap little ones where you can push it in like one or two steps and it changes. It literally is the one where you take like four or five, six steps to change it. But it's probably, I mean, it's literally probably as big as like this tank right here, maybe even smaller. And the quality of it is just not good. The paint job is terrible. The plastic just feel like an inferior quality. Like the rivets and the joints, like these things are held in by like massive screws and like big bolts and stuff. Every, and rivets everywhere and, and I know that they try to hide all that stuff but like the quality of this is way far superior like than what they made 18 years later which is now like these feel substantially better than what they had like like even this 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 I would take this over that new Camaro any day this is a 2004 and just looking at it the quality just looks like it's there that Camaro is this looks mass produced and that they, they tried to cut some corners on costs is all so I don't know but anyways like look at this this is a wolf I love this this is super sick the wolf and that cheetah thing those are awesome I hope I have the tail for this I hope I have a tail for that because that'd be sick um all right this is I know this is like something prime specter prime or something like that I don't remember it's something something prime scepter prime really cool I don't know if it's complete it looks like it's missing a thing here but then again it could be in the bag so I don't know what this turns into, but I know, look at this. Oh my gosh, the swords are in there. There's two sword. there's a, there's a sword in there. That's, that's his weapon. That's cool. All right, well, I'm, I can't wait to transform these. That, that one looks like a, I'm not an inquisitor ship. It looks like Darth Maul's like interceptor. It's kind of what it looks like. Um, moving on. Don't know what this is. It's an Autobot symbol, but it, it has like a jet plane behind it. It's weird. I don't, you can't really see it from this far away, but it looks like it's an Autobot, but it has like a plane wings behind it. So it might be the equivalent of like the Autobots, uh, the Decepticon Seekers. So uh, here, this is a cool one. I love this one. I cannot wait to transform him into a jet. I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, like 
maybe not 100%, but this looks like Jetfire. Just because I watched, uh, Jetfire I think is in the, in the, uh, the show is he's white and red and he's uh, a jet. I think he's like an SR-71, so. Um, and he's also got a, a ton of cannons. This guy's got four rockets here, four rockets there, a projectile here, two Gatling guns here, a projectile here, four, four, and then he's got six cannons on his arms. Just like, this guy is just loaded. This guy's got so much going on, and he's a he's a really I mean look at I'm like I said I, I try to do this in the videos I'm six foot four I can palm a basketball this guy is massive this guy is super huge, and like he can fold up and like I don't know if his wings tilt and stuff but like that's a lot of armaments super cool like these are the thrusters and these are the back tail fins so I cannot wait maybe I'll do a video of like them transformed I don't know I'd like to honestly. I could do videos on every single one of these because if I read the instructions, I can do do tutorials on the computer for other people who want to maybe learn about this stuff. So I mean, who knows? If you guys want to, put the comments on it. Uh, this, you know, put the, your comments down there and let me know what you think. This one's kind of weird. This one looks like a rollerblades or something. Um, it's only got two wheels. Kitty kitty. So I know it's cool. It's got the. So that flips out. I don't know, this one's just weird. It's only got two wheels. Which, oh, these, okay, there's wheels back here. It looks like a scooter or something. Um, what do we got here? This one looks obvious, this one looks really weird. He's an Autobot, he's got like a triangular or trapezoidal head and he's got like wrenches for arms, but super small figure. He probably turns into like a tank or something or like a plow. Um, we're getting to some of the good figures now. This one right here, I'm gonna go in the goodie bag. I don't know what he transforms into, but I know that these don't clip on until he's completely transformed, I don't think. I think, okay, so these purple things bridge the gap between these wings and these, and these are huge. This looks decepticon because he's got the these big angular fin things on there. But this turns into something cool. It looks like a Blackbird. It looks like an SR-71 from the cockpit, and he's a Decepticon. He's got a really cool, ornate design on like a crown. This might be Megatron, honestly. He looks like he's got a silverish Megatron face. It could be Starscream. Um, I don't know, but yeah, so this guy is gonna be amazing. This guy's gonna be super sick. He's got these big things on there, and I think, actually, can I put these on there now, or no? I think they go, they slide it, okay, they do. So they do go on now. I thought you could only put them on when the thing was completely transformed back, but I guess they do, and I think they didn't want them to get bent or something. Yeah, and I figured it out first try. Super cool, all right. So that's, that's, maybe he's a boat. He, he's a boat. That's a that's the front of a boat right there. Boom. Oh man, this guy's sick. I, it's one of my favorites so far. I love the colors. I love the light like turquoise color with the purple. Super sick. That one's one of my favorites so far. I do like that one. Looks kind of like a gunboat actually. All right, getting down to it. I found a cannon for somebody. It's gonna go in the bag. Um, this one's actually really cool. It's kind of one of the smaller ones, but it's one of my favorites actually. It's like a lizard or a komodo dragon. He's got like some silver on him. Like right there. Look at that. It's like like really cool scars but they're like cybernetic scars he's super sick little dragon lizard um okay we're gonna take a breath we're gonna show you the really cool ones last i'm gonna show you the bag full of goodies and then i'll get you the last two amazing figures okay so this right here is the bag full of look at this look at that this probably weighs four or five pounds by itself this is all this is all booklets every one of these is booklets look at this we have sealed projectiles we have booklets. This one is uh, Undermine. I don't even know if he's in here. He looks like a cool dragon, but I'm just saying there's tons. This one is um, Metroplex. You'll see him in a minute. He's massive. He's probably like 15 inches tall. Transformers, Energon, super cool figures. This one's Shock Blast. I don't know if I have him either, but that might be one that's a combiner. So just saying there's tons of them in here. And even still, people will still, oh, here we go. I found that thing. Remember we had the, uh, the Pterodactyl? Pull him out of this pile. Yeah, let's go. So it looks like somebody put these on weird because there's a big foot and a small foot. And I think his other foot might be, let's just put this on here right now because this is the only one that's missing one. I just don't want it to be in the wrong place because it looks, I might've put this on weird, but anyway, so yeah. So he's got a couple feet there. It's it's definitely not right, but I'll get it right later. But I'm glad that the foot's there. I'm hoping, like I said, the tail, there's other pieces in here. There's small little ones like Micromasters and stuff, but this is like definitely like an SR-71 or a rocket ship. 
there's some pieces that go on the backs of things um, look at there's like super like this goes with Metroplex this little figure I know that this is uh, basically like a jet but he turns into a gun so I mean these are really cool these are those little crystals I was talking about the little activators that activate like the uh, the little flip functions like you pull this out and then this locks into place and then when you put the key with its proper thing it flips out into like a weapon or something so I thought that was super cool I mean we have a lot of stuff in here we have big ones we have swords um, it's tons and tons of stuff we have launchers uh, but I'm saying this is just insane like this is insane to have all this stuff this goes with cross cross wise I think this is the Bugatti's uh, flames coming out the back so just it blows my mind because I've had a lot of transformers I've bought a lot recently vintage ones modern ones they're all missing pieces they're missing their heads they're missing an arm they're missing one of the key pieces that makes it look like the way it looks and this person who had this um the guy that i got it from said he got it from a co-worker and he literally only picked out a couple he's like i don't really i got he goes i'm more of a star wars guy um he goes i love transformers i like some of the you know the more known ones but he's like i kind of picked through them and i kind of just picked out what i want i can't believe he didn't keep these because right in here these two alone are over ten and a half times what I paid for this entire box. One of them is three hundred dollars. The other one's one hundred and seventy. I paid forty for this box. So we're gonna get into this. Just thought you would enjoy that because this is just a masterpiece of somebody's collection that just literally like saved every single, like every single instruction booklet, every single projectile, and just stuck it in a bag or a box and kept it so that way they weren't lost. Because if you're not gonna shoot the projectiles, why keep why keep them in? the toy or the figure if they're just going to get lost or accidentally shoot off somewhere so we're going to do this one now i showed you the little oh let's just get into this one too this is a little truck it looks kind of like an optimus i don't know um it's a cute little it might be optimus actually it looks kind of like it is actually small little uh little truck right here all right i showed you the metroplex booklet i showed you the little rocket launcher guy that comes with him there's two things that go with him as well he is huge and his arm goes up here he's a big figure i mean look at this for scale look at that i mean i could literally two of mine he's a huge freaking figure he turns into a base he's got this really big claw digger thing this is definitely a cybertonian thing um he's got like a this he holds i don't this is his arm so look at so this his hand comes out i think I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, right here. So this one. So I guess his hand comes out and I guess he can hold this. This is a big weapon to have for a figure. Um, he can hold that. Look at that. And he's supposed to turn into like a base with like a like a digger on the back and stuff. Super sick. Uh, he's not transformed 100% all the way, but he is just a huge figure. And you can tell he's from Cybertron. He's just weird looking. He doesn't turn into, I think he's, his waist might be backwards. I can't tell yet, but... Um, I just kind of tried to put them together as much as I could for the video just because he looked kind of like a mess when I got him out of the box He's big and I didn't think there would be a bigger one than him in the box and there is he's massive and he's right here No, I'm just kidding. This is the one that I just forgot. He actually looks like he's got an ant-man head He's kind of I think he's an Apache or he's some sort of helicopter or something with a big laser on the back This one's by far my favorite. I don't know what's off of him. There's probably pieces to him in the bag bear with me but this one is probably my favorite, and this is probably the one that I don't think I'm gonna let go of because this thing is super sick. Look at this. If you thought that one was big, check out this one. This is amazing. This is supposedly Optimus Supreme. And uh, he does light up and stuff. He does have like rocket launcher cannons. I think stuff attaches to him. I think they're called drones because every one of these, like you can fit a fit, like right here. Like they, uh, I think he fits like one, two, three, he fits a bunch of them. There's there, there's a bunch of spots where there's like another other figures fit in. Look at his arm extends, and then um, he's got a claw. This is like a little thing where you put a figure. Um, his head comes off and turns into a target master. This is actually a figure or another guy that turns into like a guy that big. Super sick. This guy is amazing. I love this thing. Um, he's got a face under there. See his face is underneath his a shield, and you put his shield down. But his uh, opt his Optimus face is underneath there. Look at that figure. He's so big. I mean, look at the size of him. He's got to be at least, I'd say he's about 16 inches, maybe 17 inches tall. So hopefully you guys liked my video. I got a massive pile of Transformers to go through. Box is officially empty now. So thank you all for watching. I'm not usually, I don't usually, I love doing unboxings of videos and stuff of stuff I bought. But I, like I said, I don't know all the names of these figures. But I will be a little bit better of an expert once I go through 
the booklets and stuff like that and relate the picture to the name and then then it'll hopefully be stored in my memory so like i said i only know a couple of them just because of their face or because of their faction um i had to look him up but i love this and every time i see this thing i'm gonna smile this thing is amazing this thing sells for over 300 dollars um and i think there's probably like missiles and parts and pieces in there so sick this thing is so cool and his head was missing and i was like no and i found it and it was weird looking because this was like all over like everything was weird and this was like uh, like down and i was like this doesn't look like a face and then i flipped this up and there's a face under there and then i put the little horns up like optimus has so really cool there's weapons everywhere there's like two little missiles back here that pop out i mean there's so much stuff going on with this figure and this like turns into like a big like base like f figure i mean it's i think all this stuff comes up this is part of a ship this actually looks like sea fury this this blue part i think this blue and the black part separate this one's a crane and this one is uh sea fury i think this one's the boat so because i can tell i can definitely tell right away that that's sea fury um so sick and i hope that there's batteries somewhere where this thing lights up because that would be incredible i think it does but i'm not 100 percent um i don't know what's supposed to go here i'm hoping nothing i'm hoping that's just like this flips in there or something and it clips together but <sighs> thank you guys for watching Again, my name's Aaron. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Please subscribe. Leave me a nice comment. Give me a like if you really like this kind of stuff. Um, I have a 2,000 square foot garage filled with toys and collectibles. So anything you guys can imagine, Masters of the Universe, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, uh, Star Wars, anything you can uh, imagine. Vintage Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, I have it in the garage. I have a 65 foot long garage, 34 feet wide, and I have like piles probably stacked about five to seven feet tall not including the shelves um i have a lot of stuff it's very hard to go through but i enjoy it i love it so it's like my treasure hunt every time i go into the garage and i forget or remember that i bought it so um again thank you all for tuning in and hopefully you guys enjoy this haul and i'll see you in the next video hopefully peace out god bless thank you